All right, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. This is day two of Jabez's prayer. This week, we're going to be talking about all that deals with the prayer of Jabez. I got 10 days. This is day two. But before we get started, just like yesterday, I want to talk about the books that I've written and created just for you so you can get your hands on these books. The first one is Pathway to Christ. It's an awesome book that I wrote for all types of study groups, youth groups, men groups, women's groups, Bible study, doesn't matter what group that you are putting together in your home or church, school, this is an awesome book for that. I wrote it to where elementary students can understand it, junior high, high school, college, grad school, doesn't matter. It's an easy read to understand about how to receive Christ as your Lord. Talks about baptism, talks about salvation, talks about hell, talks about heaven. There's so much information in here. There's questions and answers as well, because like I say, it's a study guide, the ABCs of Christian faith. Now, the other books is Prayer Journal for Men. This is a great book for when you are down in your prayer time, in your prayer room, closet, whatever, the war room. You can write down all your prayers and verses and key points, and applications, prayer journal for men. Now, I wrote one, created one for women. I don't have a copy of it with me right now. I know, shame on me, but it's out right now. You can get that as well on Amazon.com. Now, in the heart of a man, there is greatness. Never, ever give up. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on your aspirations. Don't give up on your goals. Don't give up on your family and don't give up on God. This is a blank page, line page, notebook journal to where you can sit and you can, I don't, don't peek now, that's what I've been writing, where you can sit and write to the Lord, to yourself, to your future you, <laughs> whatever. Great book for that. All right. Now, the other one is in the heart of a woman, there is greatness. Make this day great. Your day is already great because you're in it. But it, this also is a blank page or blank line page notebook journal to where you can sit and write down all your awesome ideas. Because I know you got some awesome ideas, ladies, awesome plans. Just write it down. Let's get busy. All right. So check those out. The link will be down in the description below so you can pick that up. Again, I appreciate your support. And as we are together each day, I will remind you about what's available to you. All right, today I wanna talk about avoiding pain, finding purpose, the heart of Jabez's prayer. And this one, again, comes from uh, 1 Chronicles 4 and 10. And I will read it again for you. It says, and Jabez called on the God of Israel saying, oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me and that you would keep me from evil that I may not cause pain. And again, check this. So God granted him what he requested. Isn't that just like God? Now check this out, Jabez's name literally meant pain. Prayed specifically to be kept from harm and the painful experiences that defined his early life. There's so much pain that's defining our life. This request touches on the deep human desires to avoid suffering, but it also shows us that we don't have to live bound by our past or the expectation of others. Because what others expect of you does not have to be your destiny. What others think of you does not have to be your reality. Jabez's prayer was a cry for transformation. And it speaks to those of us who want to live beyond pain and into purpose. God's answer to Jabez is a reminder that we can overcome our circumstances and find new purpose when we seek him. Again, keep it locked right here. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about the power of divine blessing. Lessons from Jabez. I'm Malachi, just a messenger of God. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Be blessed.